What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here on the wonderful tropical shores of Tropico 5. We are playing the game yet again, it's been a little bit of time since I played the game. I spent about 10 minutes before this episode just kind of reviewing and perusing the things that need to get done. And so first things first, our approval rating is the lowest that it's been in a little while, but then again we just switched into Modern Times 2, so we might be taking a little bit of backlash there. The preliminary factions that we need to be making happy in today's episode, well, we'll talk about, so happiness right now is being held down by food and by religion. So it's going to be those two right there. If we go to our population menu, the homeless, we have 135 homeless, that's pretty bad. We only have 45 unemployed though, which is really, really good. And we have a ton of open jobs for illiterate people. So I'm thinking that it's just like, I don't know, whether it's transit that's keeping. Grade school people just don't seem to be want to be working on certain things. And we've got to figure out a way to pipeline them up into the job core. And until we get that done, we're going to continue to have problems with that. Homelessness is still a little bit iffy. There's only 26 shacks though, which isn't so terrible for an island with 2,100 people. I mean, it's it's bad, but I think it's something that we're going to have to deal with later on, and we're going to have to do something other than the bulldozer approach, too, since that doesn't appear to have been getting rid of things. Right now, we are beloved by a few factions, and we're in good standing with others. We are, however, in poor standing with the environmentalists, and so I think what I might do is get rid of the police state constitutional principle. If I get rid of the police state, it seems like it would make a lot of the different groups happier. I mean, that seems to be fairly standard. Immigrant Nation is making these two upset. And so it might be a good idea. Although the religious, we're beloved with the religious too, so I don't know. I think we probably want to go with... Let's see if today... we. I mean, we already tried to do Operation Hippie Hug Poopy Pump, and that really didn't help us at all with the environmentalists. Like, we really... We tried our best, but honestly, there's not much that we can do here. There's subsidized media. What do they care about subsidized media for? Wow, some of these people have like... What are you though? Construction worker? Approval is one. Why is her approval so low? Interesting. What does she live in? Damn it. I hate the way that it does that. You can't click on these things. You have to like mouse over them. There we go. Overall happy. Lives in an apartment. Has lots of nice things. Is apparently still just grumpy. I don't know. Maybe she's manic depressive or something. I have no idea. I'm going to blame it on other things since I can't decide why she would be so unhappy. She's living an awesome life. She's wealthy from driving like a taxi cab. And she lives in a super awesome apartment. Still has one. I don't know. Maybe she's bugged or something. What do we want to do today? Well, we want to hang tight because our money has seemed to dither over the last couple episodes. 66 citizens have left Tropico. Well, that might be a good thing or a bad thing, depending. Hold on. Let's take a look. Who left? Was it unemployed people? Interesting. Wow, that was a big... Maybe it's just because we switched... Interesting. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see if we can't figure out why immigration is going so awry. I think we probably want to get homelessness under control, although you want to look for the locations where there's shacks. So there's a couple of shacks in here. And so what I would suggest... Is maybe going to our residential housing menu, and we'll just drop in a normal apartment complex here. And then we'll also demolish these to get these people the hell on out of our way. It's going to take a while for this to get built, so we'll wait for that to get done. All of these are now pretty much full. Most of them are sitting at like 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. Over here we've got shacks, and so that means that people are trying to... That's a big old shanty town. Okay, so let's demolish you. And what I want to do over here is we'll add a few more houses, I guess. We'll go something like that. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room over here, but what we can do is something. What is... Why is that in the way? Uneven terrain. Of course there is. Okay, well that's there. And then we can go through and build houses right here. Make people a little bit happier. And then on this side, yeah, there's shacks up here too, so it might be a good idea to maybe drop some housing up that way. And then we'll take the roads. El Presidente, solving housing problems. You know, I invented the house. They said that on one of the little things. They said that, or I'm sorry, on one of the little tips in between screens, it was like Kim Jong-il says that he invented the hamburger. 
and then made it free. He made a hamburger factory so that all of his people would know that he had made his gifts to them for free. I read a lot. I'm reading the Aquariums of Pyongyang right now. It's quite a good book. I read a lot of stuff on North Korea, and I watch a lot of documentaries, too. I enjoy researching it. It's like a, it's one of those fascinating areas of the world. It's horrific what goes on there, but it's also one of those fascinating areas of the world where you can't really see anywhere else like it. Now, the housing development is going to be expensive, so hopefully we've got some pretty strong exports going out very, very soon. Okay, so we got 43,000 from there. We got 17,000 from there. 8 and 12, so 20, 35, so we've got about 100,000 coming in fairly shortly. But what we really want to do is just ride this out for a couple minutes. Let's hang tight and let's take a look at a couple of our quests and figure out what we've got going on. Comrade Presidente, during the revolution's glorious march, I accidentally stepped upon a tiny ant that happened to lie in my way. It made me think deeply about our ecological footprint. Okay, and so the country hotel... That's actually something that I think we can accomplish. The EU seems to be rolling in cash, and they seem to be handing it out to all sorts of riffraff. How old is Lord Oaksworth? He's got to be like 600 years old at this point. This guy is eternal. He's like a vampire that's just manipulating world politics. Uh, invite the EU to one of your... Sure, why not? Why not? We'll invite the EU. And so let's go. We'll... And so we'll go ahead and throw them out, and we will bring in the EU. For $1,500, press 1. To have your resource prices increased by 30% for two years. Okay. Press 2, and to receive 2, I'm going to go with number 2. Since number 9 is not an option to get $5 million a yacht and all-expense-pays trip to a beautiful Caribbean island, I'm going to go with number 2 because I think the resource price is being increased by 30% for two years is going to net us way more than $15,000 in profits. So there it is. We got our EU rewards. And so now we need the country hotel. We should see a pretty large boom. Let's see here. How are these doing? Okay. Let's go ahead and make those a little bit nicer so that the housing quality is higher. And that should at least get a couple of people off the streets in all of these areas. It'll help them get around. The other thing that I really wanted to do was to retrofit our metro system. And so what we can do here is I'm just going to start getting rid of some of these garages one by one. Because now that we're in the modern age... Let's go ahead and take a look, actually, so that you guys can get a feel for how this whole thing runs. We have metro stations now. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting rid of the parking lots and just start putting in metro stations so that we have a nice lovely rail system that gets us all over the place. I feel like that's going to be a way better option in the long run, especially since living in California and living in big cities, I don't know what it is about... I don't know. I live in a culture that is highly resistant to metro systems and things like that, and so I would rather get rid of all the random privately owned cars and then start putting in metro systems here in Tropico because it's going to help people get around a little bit easier, and plus it's a way, way better solution for me too because the metro centers improve the housing quality, I think, of everything around. Oh, there's shacks down in here, too. Well, damn. Let's go ahead and plop a few more houses down in here, then. It's expensive, but you're worth it, townies. You are worth it, citizens. Because I care. Because El Presidente cares, kind of, until you give me a bad review on Yelp, and then I am quite unsatisfied with you. Look for a few more shacks. Oh, there's a couple over here, too. Okay, so it might be worth it to put in an apartment building or two over here. Or three. There we are. And so hopefully that'll help a few more people get into a housing situation. Let me take a look at my people here. We still have 89 people who are homeless, but we've been doing a, we've been doing a pretty good job at making sure that everybody's getting where they need to be. As you can see from our graph right here, it is dropping off pretty sharply in 1993. We now just have to really, really hope that our emigration comes back around. So let's go back through our constitutional edicts first. And instead of, let's see here, instead of police state, let's go ahead and do democracy. We'll finally swap it on over, quote unquote, democracy. There may be only one guy on the ballot, but it's democracy. And then instead of Immigrants Nation, let's go ahead and do Visa Program. And I think that should make a couple of the factions a little bit happier. That should fix us up with the ecological people, 
I'm sorry, yeah, that should help us out with the eco people, that should help us out with the religious as well. 42 citizens left Tropico. Well, I'm gonna have to sort that out because that is not sustainable. Are they homeless people who are leaving or who is leaving? I'm sort of interested in figuring out why people are leaving right now. I don't know what it's tied to. Unfortunately, they don't give you any real indicator why people are leaving. I mean, there's no, like, giant red arrow. So, with a 75% approval rating... We definitely need to sort this out. And so I don't know if it's related to faction unhappiness, or if this is just what happens when you switch eras. I'm not really sure. I mean, this is not a problem that we've ever come across before. Our population growth is staying pretty much neutral. We had 42 births, and then we had 42 emigrations. Well, since people are bailing out left and right... I do think that... Well, I don't know if it's related to faction happiness, or what it's related to, but it's got to be related to... I'm guessing it's got to be like faction happiness versus... Because there's not that many people, all things considered. For 2,000 citizens, 40 people being homeless is not that bad. Our okay, so I'm going to get myself elected one more time. We should probably start researching something as well because I get the feeling... Oh, never mind. We're working on inferiority, which gives us modern apartments, fashion companies. Okay, that's cool. We'll stick with that for right now. I'm hoping... I mean, we've only got two years until our extra bonus revenue from all of our stuff falls apart on us. So it might be worthwhile... To, be com to begin coming up with solutions... Well, I mean, I don't know. These buildings remain dilapidated. Nobody's even, like, coming into these. So maybe I made a bad decision by going with the visa program. I probably should have kept it with everybody, but... Ah, well. Got free market established right there. We can't really change anything, so... Not gonna concern myself with it. We're back up to 94,000, so I'm gonna drop another apartment in here somewhere. And we'll do a road off this way. There we go. And that should be a police station, right? Okay. That's probably the best place police station that I have, like, in my entire game right now. We've dropped another apartment complex. Right here. Maybe a couple of them. To help get rid of some of these shacks. I don't know. Let me take a look at these people that are living here. Vicente, what do you do? You're a teamster who is rich. So is there just not enough housing to make you happy, or what's going on here? Alright, well, let's get the metro stations up and running. We'll see if we can fix this a little bit more efficiently. So up to $172,000. Let me continue to find... What is this? The lumber mill is not produced. dust motes in the grand scale of the universe. Fortunately, we can take it out on others and make them feel even smaller. Let's make the building so huge that our citizens feel small and insignificant. It seems logical to me that then we would become more significant and much larger than dust motes. Maybe as large as tennis balls. Oh, glorious tennis ball. You are what we aim for in life. Seriously, I'm terrible at tennis. I need to aim better. I think we need to go through and let's improve our metro system. So we'll put one like right there. We'll demolish you, and we'll put in a metro station over there. We also need to put in metros. We'll get rid of you. And we'll put in a metro over here. I don't know if you can actually move products through the metro, though. This might backfire on me. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens here. It is expensive, so there is that to consider. Anyone who does not uphold their values. Have four economy and foreign relations buildings. We have and we have five. EU call center for diplomatic relations. For financial aid, press one. To try and adopt the euro as your currency, press two. To complain about the European Union, press three. 
to apply for a European grant, press 4. To reach an operator, press 9. I don't actually know what any of these do. This is a little bit suspect to me. Let's adopt the Euro and see what happens. I figured it might change our little icon over here. Just be like goofy about it. Okay, let's go ahead and do our country hotel now that we have a little bit of extra cash. And so that's going to be under our tourism menu. And we'll go with a... Ooh, $26,000. So expensive. Oh, well. That'll help us get a little bit of extra happiness with all of the eco hippies. And then on this side, we've got to start something new. We've got hot water, small print, constitutional options, luxury flights, the internet. I am a big fan of the internet as it is the way that I continue to exist in this world. A hydroponics farm. Let's make hydroponics farms. That seems like it might be really, really useful. And so we'll get started on that. Although we're behind on the internet too, so we should probably do that. Although the internet's been around for a long, long time, so I don't know what I'm saying right now. Let's go ahead and demolish that and we'll put in a new metro station. It'll look gorgeous and wonderful. Metro Station, let me select you. No, it made me drop the cursor. That sucks. There we go. New Metro Station. And there's still a little house down here. We, have an opportunity to we can win without cheating, as always. Viva el Presidente. Indeed, Viva el Presidente. I do everything for you. A building permit has earned you $8,500. Okay. And so we're already back up on top. Let's go ahead and take a look at our happiness right now. Food. And so with food, is there anything I could do to make food a little bit better? Let's go ahead and take a look at our edicts in the modern... People need less food to be fed. So yeah, let's go ahead and we'll do GM crops. And then we'll also do... Social engineering to the communists. There it is. And so hopefully that'll help. What the social engineering edict does is it forces people to join a certain faction, or at least it coerces them into joining a certain faction. And so we should see an explosion, a rise in the communist faction very shortly. We've got homeless, 61, open jobs, more and more jobs being open, unfortunately. So we may be on a slow and steady decline at the moment. I'm not sure. I'll have to keep an eye on it. We could be coming towards the end of our game. And they have output storage is full. Okay, so we've got another earthquake coming in, which is enjoyable, considering the game doesn't really flag anything that gets knocked over. We only lost one building. Unfortunately, it was, well, it was kind of an expensive one. It's our high school. Let me pan around and see if I see any more floaties. There's nobody working at our pineapple plantation. Which is interesting. Oh, it's because the pineapple plantation had its budget lowered for some reason. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll fix that in just a second. I need my metro stations to all be functioning at their highest capacity. And I'm actually just going to place a couple more of these just kind of all over the place. Put one right there. They're a little bit expensive, but I think it'll work out for us in the end. Because really, we need way for people to get around. Nothing over there, and so the metro station can reach up here. We'll also put one up in this residential district. Maybe over here, too. We got plenty of cash right now. I mean, we are floating in cash at the moment. So if I can kind of fix some of my own problems. Can I reopen my constitution yet? 40 months. Oh my god. Okay, so I might go back to Immigrant Nation because I'm feeling a little bit panicky about the way that people are evacuating our island. Because that could start a huge, huge problem for us if we run out of workers. Well, we'll see. With our edicts, can we do anything? We can do legalized substances, same-sex marriages, liberty and tourism will go up, but unrest will be grumpy. Tourism campaign, we can do waste sorting, hydraulic fracking, nah. Let's 
It's like we have so many things here that are working in our favor, but we've got extra rations running. Get the corn plantations back up and running because apparently their budget has been marked down super low. Okay, a couple more people working. We have 74 homeless, 31 unemployed. And where are these people at? So the homeless people are in this area. Okay, so there's shacks right there. We'll build houses wherever we can to try and fix this, but... Let's just kind of scan around for shacks. There's shacks right there in the middle of the houses. God. So we'll add another one right there, maybe to help get rid of... I mean, housing is what housing is, unfortunately. Alright, well, I think this is a decent enough place to break off the episode, considering I'm just kind of looking around now. Well, it's only 16 citizens this time. It's getting better. I guess it's better than, like, 70. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerdcastle for another episode of Tropico 5. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode, where I think our primary concern is going to be making sure that our immigration recovers. I think that might be due to the fact that I just kind of did a bad edict at a bad time. We'll see what happens. Take care out there, everybody, and I will see you in the next episode.